This is what happens in Genesis 26 and 22. Here are the principles, the three principles of Rehoboth. Are you ready for this? The three principles of Rehoboth in Genesis 26 and 22. The first thing is he removed from thence. The three principles are removal, rest, and room. Write that down again. I asked you to highlight it. I asked you to write it down. I want you to write it down, down again. The three principles, the three dynamics of Rehoboth, they are removal, rest, and room. We have always heard Rehoboth as God making room for you. And how many times have I seen people dance and shout over the possibilities of God making room for them, of God giving them what they desire, of God answering prayers and giving them the promises. Every week we hear, God is about to bless you. He's about to make room for you. We hear every week in sermons every day about promotion, about new businesses, about advancements, about money, about wealth, about God making room. But if you look at Genesis chapter 22 closely, you will discover that before God makes room, there must first be removal. Write that down. Before there can be room made, there first must be removal. Because in verse 22, the name Rehoboth is the result first of removal. Where's, where are we being removed from? What are we being removed from? What did Isaac remove himself from? From verse 21, from Sitna. You see that in verse 21, from Sitna. The word Sitna is enmity. 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 